All right, this one's going to be short. This is PR products, and I know we got some gamers out there. So we're going to look at Tom's Guide on five great games and gadgets that they went to see and check out on New York's Comic Con 2018. First up is the Resident Evil 2. I mean, you can see those guts out there. You can see the flesh off the monster. It's like it's heavy detail. I mean, you, it's like you're looking out, out the shoulder or on way, somewhere out the side of this lady and it looks vivid. Everything is detailed to the eye. If, if it's that detail, can you picture and imagine yourself with, you know, door closed, you know, no lights, and you're playing that game? And, and Resident Evil has always been known for their glory and just, just, just awe in a game. So I think that'll keep you up at night. A lot of nightmares, a lot of nightmares. Let's get into what they say about it. New York Comic Con gave us the first taste of Resident Evil 2's Claire Redfield's demo, which allowed us to relive the heroine's horrifying battle with the boss of William Birkin in the upcoming survival horror remake. Capcom's modern day re-imaging of Resident Evil 2 is, a, is a polished and fun as it is terrifying with a new over the shoulder perspective. There you go and striking detail graphics that make this 1998 classic feel like a whole new game. And it's said to be coming out on the PS4, that you knew that was going to be, Xbox One and the PC. And this will be coming in at January the 25th, guys. January the 25th. Let's see what else they've done. Then you have My Hero One's Justice. If you don't know, you, you if you haven't read, this is from Hero Academia. Um, it, it's on. It's on. It's a Nunmi and it's a manga, and it's it, it's. I read both of them. I saw. I saw the Nunmi and I've read the manga. They're both good. You know, if they're both good. I mean, it's a good. It, it's a, got some good characters and stuff like that. So if they can make a game out of it, this should be nice. Let's see what they say. It's time to go plus ultra. My Hero One's Justice captures my, my Hero Academia's art style impressively well, especially compared to most Anami games nowadays. While I, get, while I did get destroyed by Bakuga, I got to jump across like nuts as Dooku and put one for all to the test. I use special moves like Dooku's signature finger flick, and that finger flick, it just came out, you know, in the, in the manga, so... When they made this game, they probably already had some extra things from the manga that they already knew of before the, us coming folk even got the manga. But anyway, uh, let me continue on, which I immediately spam to get my opponent away from me. I was even able to, to pick two assistant characters. Now, that, that reminds me of Marvel versus Capcom, when you're able to bring in two other characters to help you out. And he was able to bring in All Might and Ida. Who delivered some extra explosive attacks, but that didn't matter against Bakuga Relentless Plus Ultra Attack. Yeah, these games now, it used to be where you could just feel the game up and you knew what you was doing once you felt it out and you done the little. Now you can't do that anymore. It takes like practice, practice, like you're you're going out for like a sports team or something. Basketball, golf. You gotta be out there practicing. But you know. They, they've made the games like that now. And let's go to what did they get to look at next? Now they have a Is Neo comic app. So the Nintendo Switch is already great for gaming on the go, but it could soon become your go to mobile comics reader. Okay. The upcoming Xeno app brings a library of more than 25,000 digital comics. To Nintendo's console and includes such major series as Hellboy, Buffy, and Doctor Who. The app features all of the, um, the immersive viewing options you'd expect from a mobile a mobile's comic reader. And an added bonus, you can even beam your comics to the big screen when your Switch is docked to your TV. That's going to be nice. I don't know how it's going to dock into a TV. But that should be very nice. 
And let's move on. We got Devil May Cry 5. I remember back in the day when my boy had Devil May Cry. He loved it. So if they, they've kept on increasing, increasing, this is this might be this might be a win or two. Playing Devil May Five, maybe a Cry Five is like finding a great new pizza place. It's familiar, it's fresh, and it's absolutely delicious. Capcom's ultra style action franchise hasn't skipped a beat in the latest sequel. As create Creating crazy combos with swords, guns, and mechanical arms feels as good as ever. Okay. Okay. And who is this going to come out with? It'll be on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. And this will be coming in March 8th. Then, this one right here, last but not least, Jump Force. And looking at the picture, I see Frieza. In back, I see Hasoka from Hunter x Hunter. And if I'm not mistaken, on that left-hand side is from uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. And if you got those characters and the characters that belong to Dragon Ball Z, Hunter Hunter, and Yu Yu Hakusho, that's a, that's some that's some good characters right there. Let's see, read what they say. The ultimate Anami crossover made its way to the New York Comic Con, and it's wow. Despite having a gritty 3D art style, Jump Force looks a lot better than anticipated. The texture in the surroundings were heavily detailed and the HUD is relatively minimal. The epic Anami trio was none other than Goku, well he got, this is who he picked, Goku, Sasuke, and Naruto. And the stage was of course New York. While the movement was a little clunky, the fight was nothing but a fast paced volley of classic Anami super moves and it was ridiculous. Sadly, he got beaten. Like I said, you can't just go out there and just go at it anymore. The games had gotten harder, harder, harder. With each edition, the games more speed up. You, you know, when you used to be an old gamer like me, you could find like little little traits that the the little opponent would do and stuff like that. That and, and you know, you could find little patterns and you just find the pattern, beat the pattern. Not anymore. Not you can't do that no more. But anyway, this is me. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Some of the games coming out for the holidays or even after the holidays and see some stuff that's coming out. Hey, there it is. So um, tell me, what, what what kind of games are you looking for this, this year um, and, and why? You know, uh, just let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm all right. I'm out.